Hi, I'm Lauren Davis, and I chose to do the famous author Beverly Cleary. Beverly was born in Oregon and lived in a town with no library. Her mother arranged for the state library to have books sent to where they lived, and she acted as the librarian. Beverly's love for books was very strong, but she found herself struggling with reading. She was in a low reading circle when she first started school. Beverly sympathized for those students and mastered reading by third grade. Her school librarian mentioned that she should become an author, and she loved the idea. So by the time she was 30, she had published her first book. Beverly has many different awards, including the Newbery and Laura Ingalls Wilder Award. I chose the book, Dear Mr. Henshaw, to read. So this is written in like diary letter form. So I'll just pick a random. So this is Dear Mr. Hinshaw, and this was on January 15th. I finished Beggar Bears in two nights. It is a really good book. At first I was surprised because it wasn't funny like your other books, but then I got to thinking. You said authors should think and decided a book doesn't have to be funny to be good, although it often helps. This book did not need to be funny. In the first chapter, I thought it was going to be funny. I guess I expected it because of your other books, and because the mother bear was teaching her twin cubs to beg from tourists in Yellowstone Park. Then when the mother died because a stupid tourist fed her a cupcake in a plastic bag and she ate the bag too, I knew this was going to be a sad book. Winter was coming on. Tourists were leaving the park and the little bears didn't know how to find food for themselves. When they hibernated and then woke up in the middle of winter because they had eaten all the wrong things and hadn't stored up enough fat, I almost cried. I sure was relieved when the nice ranger and his boy found the young bears and fed them, and the next summer taught them to hunt for the right things to eat. I wonder what happens to the fathers of a bear. Do they just go away? Sometimes I lie awake listening to the gas station pinging, and I worry because something might happen to mom. She is so little compared to most moms, and she works so hard. I don't think Dad is that much interested in me. He didn't phone when he said he would. I hope your book wins a million awards. Sincerely, Laybots. Then it's January 19th. Dear Mr. Henshaw, Thank you for sending me the postcard with the picture of the lake and mountains and all that snow. Yes, I will continue to write in my diary, even if I do have to pretend I am writing to you. You know something? I think I feel better when I write in my diary. My teacher says my writing skills are improving. Maybe I really will be a famous author someday. She said our school, along with some other schools, is going to print, that means mimograph, a book of work of young authors, and I should write a story for it. The writers of the best book will win a prize. Lunch with a famous author and with winners from other schools. I hope the famous author is you. I don't often get mail, but today I received two postcards, one from you and one from Dad in Kansas. His card showed a picture of a green elevator. He said he would phone me sometime next week. I wish someday he would have to drive a load of something to Wyoming and would take me along so I could get to meet you. That's all for now. I'm going to try to think of a, up a story. Don't worry, I won't send it to you to read. I know you are busy and I don't want to be a nuisance. Your good friend, Laybots the First. Um, many people celebrate her birthday by having the DEAR program. The DEAR program stands for Drop Everything and Read. She is known for her relatable stories and funny content. She keeps the reader's attention with characters their own age and real scenarios that could happen to the readers. The interactive learning experience I want the children to do throughout the book, Dear Mr. Henshaw, is writing letters to somebody that they admire throughout the school building. I'd want them to make somebody's day in the school and also work on their writing skills and know how to write a letter.